unlocking London's future, the game-changing Elizabeth Line. Hey there, fellow city dwellers. Feel that? That's the pulse of London, getting stronger by the day. And it's not just your morning coffee kicking in. Nope, it's something much bigger, something that's been brewing underground for years. Today, we're diving into the heart of London's most ambitious transport project in decades. Are you ready to explore the Elizabeth Line? Trust me, you'll want to stick around for this one. So what exactly is this Elizabeth Line we're all buzzing about? Well, it's a massive metal snake, 100 kilometers long, slithering its way through the heart of London. But instead of scales, it's got 40 shiny new stations. And instead of venom, it's pumping out millions of commuters every day. This isn't just any old train line, folks. This is Europe's largest construction project, a 42-kilometer network of tunnels weaving through the city like a giant game of underground snakes and ladders. Only in this game, everybody wins. Now, I know what you're thinking. Another train line? Big deal. But hold on to your oyster cards, because this is not an ordinary railway. The Elizabeth Line is set to revolutionize how we move around London. It's like London just got a turbo boost. Now let's talk numbers, shall we? Because the stats behind this project are mind-boggling. We're looking at 200 million passengers a year. That's like moving the entire population of Brazil. Twice. And it's increasing London's rail capacity by 10%. In other words, goodbye sardine can commutes. Here's another jaw-dropper. 1.5 million more people will be within a 45-minute commute of central London. That's a lot of potential new neighbors. And it's expected to add 42 billion euro to the UK economy. That's enough to buy everyone in the UK around at the pub, and then some. But it's not just about the numbers. It's about what those numbers mean for you and me. Faster journeys, less crowded trains, and more time for, well, whatever it is you do when you're not stuck on the tube. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Building this beast wasn't exactly a walk in Hyde Park. The engineers had to tunnel through 42 kilometers of London's underbelly. And let me tell you, London's underbelly is a busy place. They had to dodge sewers, sidestep gas mains, and pirouette around building foundations. It was like a subterranean dance, with 1,000-ton tunnel boring machines as the lead dancers. These mechanical moles spent three years munching their way through London's clay, creating tunnels big enough to fit three double-decker buses side by side. And all of this was happening right under our feet. While we were sipping our lattes and complaining about the weather, these underground acrobats were performing engineering miracles. But it's not just about the tunnels. The Elizabeth Line also boasts 10 brand spanking new stations. And these aren't your average tube stops. Oh no, these are more like underground cathedrals. Take Paddington Station, for example. It's got a 120 meter long entrance canopy that looks like it could double as a spaceship landing pad. And it goes four levels deep. That's deeper than most London basements. Each station is a work of art in its own right. They're spacious, they're stylish, and best of all, they're step free. That's right. No more lugging your suitcase up three flights of stairs when you're late for your flight at Heathrow. But the Elizabeth Line isn't just about getting from A to B. It's about transforming London itself. It's like dropping a stone in a pond. The ripples spread far and wide. New homes are popping up along the line like mushrooms after rain. Businesses are flocking to areas that were once off the beaten track. And let's not forget the environmental impact. More people on trains means fewer cars on the road. It's a win-win for our lungs and our planet. And here's a fun fact. All that earth they dug up from the tunnels, it didn't go to waste. Three million tons of it went to create new wildlife habitats. So next time you see a happy bird chirping away, it might just be saying thank you to Crossrail. So what does all this mean for the future of London? Well, it means a city that's more connected, more accessible and more sustainable. It means new opportunities, new communities, and new ways of living and working. The Elizabeth Line isn't just a railway. It's a symbol of what we can achieve when we think big and dig deep. It's a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and a whole lot of concrete. And the best part? This is just the beginning. There's already talk of Crossrail 2, which could do for North-South London what the Elizabeth Line is doing for East-West. 
The future of London transport is looking brighter than ever. And there you have it, friends, the Elizabeth Line in all its glory. From Reading to Shenfield, from Heathrow to Abbey Wood, this purple powerhouse is changing the face of London. Next time you're zipping through those sleek new tunnels, take a moment to appreciate the marvel of engineering beneath your feet. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be making videos about the underwater line to France. Until then, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep riding those rails. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey, hit subscribe for more urban adventures. See you underground.